So today, I wanted to show you something. Now, WhatsApp, a lot of you have used that. You can see here, I'm using WhatsApp web. So I can basically use a laptop uh, here to send messages from my PC and it goes out through the phone and vice versa. I can attach messages, I can attach um, uh, documents and pictures and things. But you can also do something very similar with this, which is called um, messages. Now, in some phones, like here on the Honor um, 8X, it's automatically installed. If you don't have it installed, just go to Google Play like uh, this phone here, just type in messages, it's the one from Google, and install it. It doesn't take long, just press that and off it goes, it installs. Once it's installed, you get this sort of nice friendly interface. You can start a chat, as it would call it, and it just basically lets you send a message. So I can um, send a message in here, and you can see I've sent pictures. Now normally pictures are sent via MMS, which is traditionally quite expensive. Uh, networks will charge you uh, quite a lot of money for MMSs. So what it'll do is send them as a text link to, uh, it uploads it basically, it uploads these pictures uh, and then the other person clicks the link and then they can see it through their data connection. So it doesn't actually use an MMS, it just uses a standard text message and sends it out that way. Uh, you can have, you can see loads of details here, you can archive and search through the trail and the conversation that you've had similar to WhatsApp. You can see here in uh, the settings on there, you can change the notifications, change the default message. Uh, here, outgoing sounds, uh, change the country, smart reply. It will auto suggest any uh, responses. Um, and in advanced, you can fiddle around with SMS reports, emergency reports, and additional features. So you can auto download MMSs or turn them off if you want. So really good. Uh, the good thing about this is it also has a web interface. So if I go up here and I go to messages.android.com, similar sort of thing. I just load um, that URL on my PC. It displays a QR code. You take a photo of it with the app and then it appears on there. So all your messages and all your threads are here on the screen. So that's why you should probably change across to um, the messages app from Google instead of using a standard um, SMS interface.